welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a great simple recipe for you. This is our homemade fermented hot sauce. Uh, it's a little chunky. We usually actually call it a uh, hot pepper relish and it's absolutely delicious. We add this to almost everything and it is dead simple. Now, like all of our other fermentation uh, videos, you do want to make sure that you're getting your peppers locally. So let's start with some ingredients. We have our hot peppers. We're using ghost and, ch and scorpion chilies. We have onion for bulk and flavor and kosher or sea salt. Uh, so we're going to start. We've washed and dried our peppers. Make sure you get any soil uh, or sand or grit out of the folds of the peppers. And we're actually going to weigh them. The uh, amount of salt we use in this one depends on how much the vegetables weigh. So we have our scorpion and ghost chili peppers here. Uh, other good peppers to use, scotch bonnet, Thai bird chilies are also delicious. Jalapenos, if they're hot enough, you want to make sure you've got uh, some good heat in there. So we're just going to take a, a measurement of the weight here. And then we're going to, uh, we actually, we were using onions and something else, so we were, had a couple of different ones peeled. We're going to get one that is the closest to being exactly the same weight as the amount of peppers we have. So uh, that one's not quite right. I think it's the second one is going to be right. And we're going to uh, make sure that the, the amount of onion is almost the same as the amount of the peppers we've got. So you're going to make sure that you weigh all of your vegetables together. So once you know how much everything together weighs, uh, we're going to put everything into our food processor. If you have to do this in batches, you can, but uh, remember the peppers are mostly hollow. They are going to uh, really compress quite a lot once the, uh, once the blender starts going. So then we're going to put our salt, uh, you want to divide the total weight of everything by 40 and add that amount of salt to your vegetables. And that's going to just control the level of fermentation in your, uh, in your, in your pepper sauce here. We're going to add our salt into the peppers and onions here, and we're going to start chopping. So we'll get that lid on there. Now I do need to warn you here. Once you have chopped this up, there is going to be aerosolized hot peppers in the air. Uh, you're going to have some aerosolized pepper oil, capsaicin, and it is hot. You will find yourself possibly coughing and sneezing a little bit. Um, it's, uh, it's because of the peppers. So make sure you're getting any big chunks off the sides there. Want a good even blend in there. It's never going to be completely smooth. We like a little bit of texture in this. We stop it usually about here. Just that everything is about the same size. Nice small pieces. And then you're going to place the uh, contents of the food processor into a clean jar once it's all blended. So here we go. So we have our giant funnel here. And we're just going to uh, get all of our peppers into the funnel. And it might take a little bit of work getting everything out of there. And you want to make sure that your jar is very, very clean. So once you have everything in your jar, you're going to want to make sure everything's a little bit level. So once we've got all of that, uh, that nice chopped pepper in there together, we're just going to give it a little shake, a little tap, make sure that the top is pretty much level. Now, because of the salt, it's going to bring out a lot of the, uh, the juices from the peppers and the onions. And we just want that brine to cover everything while it's, uh, while it's fermenting. There we go. Now we have everything in there. Going to give it a little shake, a little tap, make sure that everything's pretty level. And then we're just going to put the cap on, not all the way. You don't want to screw it all the way. Do not seal it because it's going to be fermenting and it's going to be producing some gases. This is one we started much earlier. You see the color fades a little bit, but when it's brand new, it has this beautiful bright red. And uh, let it stand at room temperature for three to seven days to get the fermentation going. 
And after that, you can put the, uh, the hot pepper mixture into the fridge, and it'll just keep fermenting very, very slowly in the fridge. Use it in whatever, re whatever recipes you like. Um, we stir it up usually about once a week. Try to use it all within 6 to 12 months. And that's it. Um, we use it all the time, um, and it freezes perfectly well without killing the live cultures as well. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.